Oh no, Arch Linux broke on me. Now I have to switch to Debian or Ubuntu or Linux Mint. <laughs> Actually, this is the first time that a software broke for me on Arch Linux. And that was basically my fault. I'd like to show it to you. You see this uh, software in front of me, this video that I am actually uh, editing right now? This was the software that broke. And remember, whenever you upgrade on Arch Linux, whenever you do an update, you should have a time shift with you, which is a software which uh, actually provides uh, these, uh, these little snapshots that you see over here. And uh, if you do not know how to use this, I suggest you that you actually take a look at this. And uh, this can be run using the command line. And this is important, by the way, that you know how to run it through the command line, because whenever there is a major update, whenever there is like, uh, when I have 54 updates, or if I have 50 updates, sometimes even 100 updates, and especially if there are QT updates, because this is KDE, if you didn't know this, that I'm using KDE right now. So KDE itself, the and the Qt platform is known for well breaking software whenever it up upgrades, and uh, this doesn't happen on Debian. But that's the reason why we have uh, flat packs and uh, containers which we can use to uh, run software which is prone to breaking. And uh, so what I did was that you see this uh, video I turned in front of you, that broke. Now, I cannot show you the broke version, but after a Qt6 update, this this little timeline that you see over here, this one that I'll just expand. Oops, I think I just closed it anyway. So if I, if I actually uh, show this timeline again, which is over here, there it is. So if I expand this, this was the thing that broke. This became white. All of this became white, this this area. So I couldn't drag and drop videos into it. And uh, I've seen video editors break on Linux very often. So if this happens on Arch Linux, sorry, on Arch Linux, not on Linux, on Linux Mint and Ubuntu, I don't think they break. On Debian, they don't break as they're like uh, not updated frequently. So I don't think that break. So what I'm saying is, is that if any software breaks for you, and it's very rare that Arch Linux, just the entire system breaks. It's usually software that breaks. Either roll back to a previous version using time shift, and you should have time shift with you, or you can use a container contain, containerized version of the software. Now, I was using the uh, package from Arch Linux, which Shotcut doesn't even support. I didn't know that. So when I downloaded it from their official website, the uh, portable version, it's working just fine. So that's my Arsenal's breakage story.